Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna catch up from Ben from Pennsylvania, USA, and his DIY plunge pool. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so Ben from Pennsylvania, he got in touch with me because he was building a DIY plunge pool in his backyard. And he basically wanted to run all of his plumbing ideas, his design for the layout, and also his, his kind of structural ideas as well. He wanted to have a sounding board, and it's one of those things that I do. I offer build consultancy, and that's exactly what I did for Ben. So when he had a question, he got in touch, I responded and it just made sure that he had that peace of mind that he was doing the right thing because the last thing we want to do as DIYers is go ahead and build something that doesn't work. So as I always say on this channel, if you don't plan, then you plan to fail. So you've got to have a plan for your plunge pool or your hot tub and it's certainly something I can help you with. So before we get going and taking a look at Ben's build, always a great opportunity. You know I like to get this in there to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so when we're planning plunge pools and hot tubs, we've got to start with the design. And behind me is exactly what Ben did. He sketched it out on a piece of paper. It doesn't need to be fancy CAD or anything like that. He's got a straightforward rectangular layout. He's got his steps in there. He's got some bench seating. It's a, it's a pretty standard kind of setup for a plunge pool. So with the designs checked for Ben, it was then on to breaking ground and it's that back breaking work. You can see behind me here, we all got to do it. If we're building an in-ground pool or tub, we've got to excavate the area and that's where we all start. So Ben did just that. Now Ben has opted to do a poured concrete form. So what that involves is you've got to frame up the area as you can see behind me, you frame up with wooden frames. Into those frames, you add rebar for strength. You then put your plumbing in at that point. And this was one of the advantages of doing a poured wall construction is that you can get all your plumbing in place without having to core any holes through block and worry about sealing them back up, that kind of thing. With a poured form, you put all of your plumbing into your walls so that everything is ready. All of your plumbing is in the walls before you're gonna pour that concrete. So next stage for Ben was actually pouring the concrete. And you can see behind me, he didn't do any kind of mono pour. Uh, I always advise against uh, mono pours unless you, you know, are a concrete specialist. So a mono pour is where you pour everything at once and it's quite difficult to do. I've had a couple of customers that have had some concrete contractors in that have done it. It's a challenge. As a DIYer, I would not recommend doing a mono pour just because it's really, really challenging to get right. So as you can see, what Ben is doing is actually building up the, the different areas of his tub. And you can see as we progress through the photographs here, he fills each of the forms with concrete, lets them cure, and then he's moved on to the next stage. And as you can see, when the forms come off, this is what it looks like. So he's got his plunge pool structure. It's now starting to look like a plunge pool. Now, one of the benefits of building your own DIY plunge pool or hot tub is that you get to spec it and you get to add in features that, that you need. And this was one of these. So. What is this? Well, this is a dog grate. So Ben actually has uh, quite a large dog and he was worried about the dog jumping in the pool and the pool being too deep and not being able to get out. So what he's done is he's designed a, a little lip that goes around the edge. He can then drop in the grate into the plunge pool. He's then obviously reducing the depth. It means that the dog isn't going to uh, go straight to the bottom. Ingenious way of keeping your dog safe and having a plunge pool without any kind of fencing round uh, as well. So Ben, really nice idea with the, uh, with the dog grate there. So with the forms done, the walls then needed to be sealed and waterproofed. 
and then Ben moved on to doing, as you can see behind me here, the coping around the edge of his plunge pool. Now, in terms of the finish, he was going to tile the, the waterline, which is always a good idea because it's always the waterline that gets a bit dirtier and you can you know, scrub tiles and, and get them back looking good. And then he was going to use a pool paint to finish the rest of the plunge pool. Now, the next step for Ben was to work on the control room. Control room for a plunge pool, the layout is pretty straightforward. You can have a circulation pump, you're going to have a filter, you're going to have some kind of a heater, and you're going to have some hot water returns. Now, you may opt to have a skimmer on the suction side. You will also have some bottom drains on your suction side. It's really straightforward in terms of the, the actual layout. You don't need huge amounts of space. As you can see here, Ben's got that nicely tucked away in a corner behind the, the actual plunge pool itself. So let's get straight to it and see exactly how it turns out. Now, I normally do this on my shorts and on my TikToks, but why not? I'll do it in one of the long forms as well. Are we ready? There we go. Look how good that plunge pool looks. It's simple, it's elegant, and it's gonna work absolutely perfectly in Ben's backyard. It really just goes to show that you don't need to overcomplicate things. Quite often, simple is, is better. So Ben, thanks ever so much for sharing all of these photos of your build with me. Great job, really do like the plunge pool and love the dog great. I think that's a great addition, no pun intended, to the plunge pool. Can I help you with your DIY plunge pool or hot tub? If I can, then please do get in touch. Always happy to hear from you. Either hit me up in the comments or get in touch via builderhottub.com. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.